An important thing we'll need to be able to do is to raise a number to a very high power very efficiently and very quickly. Fortunately, there's an easy way of doing this. And in fact, this problem may have inspired the very first computer program ever written. And this was produced by an Indian mathematician by the name of Pengala, who lived in the third century BC. Pengala's problem was to find 2 to power n, and so he described the following procedure. First, start with n. In modern terms, we might say that we initialize with our value of n. If our value is even, then halve and record 2. Else, if odd, subtract 1 and record 0. And it's noteworthy that this is the very first time the zero symbol ever appeared, though in Pengala's description, it doesn't mean anything other than an abstract symbol that will record if we have an odd number. This process of either having or subtracting one will modify our working number, and so we're going to repeat this process until we arrive at zero. What we end up with if we do this is we end up with a sequence of twos and zeros. To write the actual program, we're going to reverse that sequence of twos and zeros. And then the interpreter, which in Pingala's time was a human being, would follow these directions as follows. We're going to start with the number one. If we encounter a zero, we're going to double our working number. If, on the other hand, we encounter a two, we're going to square our working number. For example, suppose we want to find 2 to power 10. So we'll initialize with our starting value of 10. 10 is even, so we're going to have it to 5 and record 2. 5 is odd, so we'll subtract 1 to make 4 and record 0. 4 is even, so we'll have it to 2 and record 2. 2 is even, so we'll have it to 1 and record 2. 1 is odd, so we'll subtract to make 0 and record 0. And now we have a sequence of zeros and 2s, and we'll record them in reverse order. 0, 2, 2, 0, 2. And this is our computer program. So we can follow our program. We'll initialize with a value of 1. The first instruction is 0, so we'll double to 2. The next instruction is a 2, which tells us to square our number to 4. The next instruction is also a 2, so we'll square again to get 16. The next instruction is 0, so we'll double to get 32. And our last instruction is a 2, which says we'll square our number to 1024, which is going to be our answer of 2 to the 10th.